Austin-based Firefly Aerospace is a space transportation company. They're building rockets to the final frontier in new and exciting ways. We've got founder and CEO Tom Markusik with us this morning. A rocket you guys have been working on for years, Alpha, just had an important, successful milestone last weekend. What happened? We tested the flight vehicle, the actual first vehicle that's going to fly to space and successfully demonstrated that it's ready to go to Vandenberg and do our first launch. So the video is pretty impressive. Kind of talk about what's happening in this video. So that's the first stage of the rocket. The rocket consists of two stages. It's the part that lifts the rocket off of the ground. So it's the most powerful, about a million horsepower uh, in that first stage. So what we see in the video is a successful ignition of the rocket and then the rocket thrusting for about 35 seconds. It takes only takes about two seconds to get off the launch pad. So we've demonstrated that we have all the thrust we need to get off the pad and then accelerate through the first phase of the mission. That's awesome. So what's next? So next we will test the second stage. The first stage that you saw in the video will ship to Vandenberg and wait for the second stage. And once the second stage is there, we'll put all the pieces together and do our first flight, hopefully in the December timeframe. Okay. And so I was asking you a little bit about this last time, but uh, Artemis, Firefly is, is part of Artemis, which is NASA's plan to get to the moon. Kind of talk about how Firefly fits in. Yeah, so in addition to our rocket, Alpha, that you saw in the video, we have a whole program on spacecraft, and in particular, a lunar lander called Genesis. So right now we're in the proposal phase of Genesis. We have a couple of proposals into NASA. We expect to hear about back on those in the next couple of months and secure a contract to do a flight to the moon. So to give you an example, the proposal that we just submitted and we expect to hear back in about a week, it is to drill for ice on the surface of the moon using our lunar lander. And this will uh, help kind of pave the way for human space flight so that we understand where water is when, when we go there in greater years. Gotcha. Well, just to wrap it up, uh, it's just such an exciting time for space travel right now. You've got shows on Netflix. I just finished the, the Away last night on Netflix where they're going to Mars. You've got astronauts, American astronauts going to space and splashing down. Just talk about how exciting it is and how excited you are to be part of this. Yeah, I mean, we truly live in an amazing time for space. There's really a renaissance in space going on, and it's being fueled by private entrepreneurial activities like Firefly, which is something that was totally different in the past. We live in an era now where you can get uh, venture capital and some smart rocket scientists together and go out to space. We don't have to just rely on NASA or other big governments to, to go and do it. So it's extraordinary time and just really exciting to be part of it right now. Nice. Tom Markusik with Firefly.